Dear students, hello and welcome to my class. I think you all are fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. This is Slavon Shorkar. I am also fine. Dear students, today I am here to conduct the second class on Chapter 8 from your Bangladesh and Global Studies book. So dear students, before the start of the main part of our today's class, I would like to show our today's learning outcome. After the class, you will be able to say about disaster. Then you will be able to describe different kinds of natural disasters. Then you will be able to describe the causes of natural disaster. And at class, you will be able to describe the impacts of natural disasters on life and economy of Bangladesh. So dear students, let's get started of our today's class. At first, I am going to discuss about disaster. So what is called disaster? Basically, disaster um, means a serious uh, a disruption so of the functionings of a country or a society due to some natural or man-made causes so this is the very simple definition of disaster dear students now i am going to show you the definition of disaster on the screen this is the definition when any natural or man-made situation becomes a natural and intolerable as a result of which crops, asset, and life are destroyed and environment is damaged, it is called disaster. So, dear students, I have taken this definition of disaster from your textbook. And you can write down this definition. Definitely, it will get very good marks in your examination. Dear students, basically, there are two types of disasters. Okay? The first type is called the natural disaster. So what is called the natural disaster? Basically, natural disaster is such type of disaster which is occurred naturally. Okay, and here the people have, uh, have nothing to do. Okay, so dear students, now I am going to show you the definition of natural disaster on the screen. So dear students, this is the definition of the natural disaster. Natural disaster is such type of disaster which is occurred naturally and people become hopeless to do anything to protect the disaster. For example, we can say cyclone, earthquake, wildfire, tsunami, tidal bore, tornado, river erosions, volcanic eruptions. Okay, so these are the examples of the natural disaster. So, dear students, the second type of disaster is called the man-made disaster. So, what is called the man-made disaster? Basically, man-made disaster is such type of disaster which is occurred due to the malpractices of the human beings. Say, for example, we can say war, communal right, water logging, etc. Dear students, now I am going to show you the definition of man-made disaster on the screen. This is the definition of the man-made disaster. Man-made disaster is a type of disaster which is created due to the malpractices of human beings. Say, so for example, war, communal right, deforestation, other water logging, etc. Some of the uh, some of the man-made disasters. So, dear students, now I am going to discuss about earthquake and earthquake is one of the natural disaster. So at first I am going to show you the first information regarding earthquake. The vibration of the earth surface due to some natural causes and man-made causes is called earthquake. Dear student, basically this is the definition of earthquake. What is called earthquake? Okay, and you can write down this sentence. So. What is the sentence? The vibration of the earth's surface due to the subnatural causes and man-made causes is called earthquake. Now I am going to show you the next information regarding earthquake. Dear student, this is the next information regarding earthquake. There are three types of earthquake we can experience. These are massive earthquake, moderate earthquake and mild earthquake. Dear students, question may come uh, how many types of earthquakes are there the answer will be basically there are three types of 
earthquakes these are massive earthquake moderate earthquake and the mild earthquake so dear student now i am going to discuss about the next information regarding earthquake that is dhaka silhet rangpur and chittagong are in the most risky zones of earthquake so dear students question may come like uh, which districts of our uh, country uh, are in most risky zones of earthquake the answer will be dhaka silhet rangpur and chittagong the last information regarding the earthquake is the quake that occurred on 18th September 2011 in our country was quite severe. So that's all about earthquake according to your textbook. Okay, and this topic is important for a creative question. Dear students, now I am going to discuss about the next topic that is tsunami. Okay, so now I am going to show you the first information about tsunami. Basically, tsunami is the Japanese word which means uh, waves of the seashore. This is very, very simple uh, defini uh, de information regarding tsunami. Okay, now the next information regarding tsunami is due to the movement uh, at the seabed, like due to earthquake or volcanic eruption or any other reasons, massive waves are created throughout a large area. This is called tsunami. So, dear students, by this information, we have learned about the definition of tsunami. At the same time, we have learned some causes of occurring tsunami. Say, for example, or uh, due to the earthquake or the volcanic eruptions uh, or any other reasons uh, okay uh, in, in in at the seabed okay so dear students now i am going to discuss about the next information regarding tsunami that is the speed of the waves due to the tsunami may 800 to 1300 kilometers and it enters within 10 kilometer of coastal belt with a high speed their students by this line we have learned two information first information is the speed of the tsunami so the speed of the tsunami may 800 to 13 1300 kilometers and the next information is uh, the area of the tsunami okay so the area of the tsunami is 10 kilometer of the coastal bed with a high speed dear students now i am going to show you the next information regarding tsunami that is a huge tsunami hit the northeast area of japan in 2011 it was a result of an 8.9 richter scale earthquake under the sea it hit an area which was 400 kilometers away from the tokyo the capital city of japan so dear student that's all about tsunami and this topic is very important for a creative question Dear students, now I am going to discuss about next topic that is landslide. So what is the first information regarding landslide? Let's see. The sudden fall of a mass of earth from a hill or mountain is called landslide or landfall. Dear student, basically this is the definition of landslide. Okay. Now I am going to show you the next information regarding landslide is deforestation, cutting down trees or hill of hills and mountains are the causes of landslide. Dear students, by this information we have learned about some of the causes of landslide. So the next information about landslide is landslide may cause the death of many people who live in the beneath of hills and mountains. And last information regarding the landslide is Chiragong, Cox's Brother, Rangamati, Silet, Bandarbon, Netrokona are some of the districts of our country where we can experience landslide. So that's all about landslide, dear students. Now I am going to discuss about the next topic that is fire. So the first information regarding fire is Fire is not counted as a natural disaster of our country. In our country, mainly fire is occurred due to the carelessness of the people. So this is very basic information regarding fire and in perspective of our country. The next information regarding fire is 
fire which takes place at forest in many countries because of immense heat is called wildfire basically this is the definition of wildfire so what is called wildfire fire which is takes place at forest in many countries because of immense heat is called wildfire <clears throat> dear students now i am going to show you the next information regarding Fire is in our country usually fire takes place in mills, factories, oil refineries, garment industries, jute mills, chemical godowns, residential buildings, shops, offices, and commercial centers. Now I am going to show you the last information regarding fire according to your textbook is in our country, the rural and urban areas lack of consciousness is a prime factor for fire. Often the sources of fire is uh, uh, fire are burning ovens, lamps, mosquito coils, cigarettes, and hurricane, etc. So that's all about fire. Okay. So dear students, now I am going to discuss about the next next topic of our today's class that is the causes of natural disaster. So the first cause of the natural disaster of our country is called the geographical position. Dear students, you know all well, Bangladesh is a riverine country and uh, there are 7,700 7, plus rivers in our country and the sources of all of these rivers either in India or in Nepal. Or in Nepal okay. And uh, <coughs> dear students, and uh, and then uh, the Himalayas are, is located uh, to the to the to the north of our country, and the Bay of Bengal is situated to the south of our country. Okay, but there is no such a blockade like the Himalayas, like the hills or hillocks uh, to the uh, to uh, to the south of our country, which can protect the cyclone and the tidal pool. So geographical position is one of the causes of the natural disaster of our country. The next cause is soil structure. Dear students, uh, in our country, we can see most of the land of our country is built by the recent flood, uh, uh, flood plain. Okay. So, uh, and again, Bangladesh is situated uh, near the plate uh, of, of India and Myanmar. Okay, so Bangladesh is very prone to earthquake. So, this is one of the causes of natural disaster. Dear students, now I am going to discuss about the next cause of the natural disaster that is climate dear students bangladesh uh, bangladesh is uh, in the tropical monsoon climate so here we can see a lot of rain in rainy season so the river eogen flood are the common scenarios of our country the next cause of the natural disaster of our country is called the rivers and canals okay and basically bangladesh is caused uh, by innumerous uh, rivers and canals so the flood and river regions are very common scenarios of our country so that's all about the causes of natural disaster of our country and this traffic is highly important for our credit question yes students now i am going to start the new part of our today's class that is the impacts of natural disaster on life and economy of bangladesh first point is inundations of the agricultural land dear students it is said that uh, due to the natural calamities uh, natural disasters many places uh, of our coastal areas will be inundated so the inundation of the agriculture land in the coastal areas of our country uh, is one of the impacts of natural in disasters on life and the and economy of Bangladesh. The next point is many people become homeless, dear students, due to the uh, the increase uh, of uh, of the sea water okay many many lands many lands will be inundated uh, in our coastal areas so many people will become homeless the next impact is 
Many people become jobless, dear students, due to the increase of the sea water. Many and lots of uh, agricultural land will be inundated. So, so many people will uh, will become jobless. Okay. The next impact is agricultural land becomes barren. Dear students, in the world, the salinity of sea water is not good for the for uh, for for a growing crops okay so <clears throat> due to the cyclone due to the uh, tidal bore okay every year every year ma ma many land of our country are inundated so, and uh, so agricultural land becomes bad and this is uh, one of the impacts of natural disaster on life and economy of Bangladesh. the next impact is May, uh, many ecosystems become destroyed, dear students, due to the uh, due to the natural disasters of our country. Many many ecosystems uh, uh, of many places of our country will be destroyed. So this uh, is uh, one of the impacts of natural disaster on life and economy of Bangladesh. The next impact is environment becomes polluted. The yes, students here, I want to share one thing with you. We cannot make environment, but we can just uh, preserve our env environment for ourselves, for our next generation due to uh, the natural disaster. Okay. Or, or due to due to any type of disasters our environment becomes polluted so this is one of the impacts of natural disaster on life and economy of Bangladesh. the next impact is education of the students become postponed and this is very easy to understand due to the natural disaster students uh, cannot go to their school go to their colleges go to their university okay so education of the students becomes postponed the next impact is outbreak of disease dear students uh, uh, due to the natural disasters we can see the uh, presence of many types of diseases say for example we can say uh, during the flood time we can see many people are affected by cholera or diarrhea or other waterborne diseases the last impact of natural disaster on life and economy of Bangladesh is many people die. Your students, due to the severe uh, type of disasters, uh, uh, will be the cause of the death of many people. So that are the impacts of natural disasters on life and economy of Bangladesh. And this topic is highly important for a graduate question. Dear students, now I'm going to start the new part of our today's class that is the evaluation part in this part i am going to ask you some questions and it will try to give the right answers of these questions though i will tell you the answers of this question so dear students my first question is what is disaster basically disaster means a uh, uh, serious disruptions of the functioning of the society or a country do, uh, by some natural or man-made causes. So this is the definition of disaster. My next question is, what is called man-made disasters? Basically, man-made disaster is such type of disaster uh, uh, which is occurred due to the malpractices uh, of the of the human beings, like the war, communal right, auto logging, deforestation, etc. My next question is, which districts of Bangladesh are vulnerable for landslide? Dear yes, students, Chittagong, Cox's Bazar, Netrakona, Silets are the districts of Bangladesh which are vulnerable for landslide. So this is the answer of this question. My next question is, what is tsunami? Basically, tsunami is a Japanese word which means the wave of the seashores. Okay, basic. On other hand, we can say tsunami is uh, one type of earthquake which is occurred uh, in the seabed. And my next question is, when did the most severe tsunami struck in Japan? The answer will be in 2011, the most severe tsunami struck in Japan. 
dear students my last question is what type of disaster is fire dear student basically fire is uh, uh, one of the natural disasters but in perspective our country fire is not a natural disaster fire is the man-made disaster in perspective of Bangladesh okay so that's all about the evaluation part dear students now I am going to give you homework you have to write the impacts of the natural disasters on life and economy of Bangladesh. And you have to submit the answer of this question to your respective subject teacher after the opening of your school.